We're on. Welcome in, Pirate fans. Uh, live tonight from Tanks Memorial Stadium in beautiful downtown East Bank, Russell, Kentucky. Is that what this is? <laughs> I, thought, I don't know about East Bank. Oh, okay. It, 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 East something. It's, it's definitely east, east of us. It's east of us, south of us. Uh, it's kind of funny because the river travels south from Wheelersburg to Ironton. So really? It's south of us. It is. So they, over there is yeah. west. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, north. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we have 13 minutes oh until kickoff gosh. time. If we have to listen to Eye of the Tiger one more time tonight. It has, it sounded like Tanland in 1983 all night here. They've been playing Eye of the Tiger on repeat and, and some other Journey type of songs. But not Journey because Journey's actually good. Right, but right. some other music of that sort, of that from that era. Uh, but anyway, we got football some. tonight. It yeah. is uh, Wheelersburg versus Ironton. Of course, you all know that. Birdfan.com, we're here in week one, so uh, bear with us. Yep. we got to learn the ropes just like these players do. Everybody's got to get broke in. Yeah. I am the Duke of Earl, and I am alongside who? Jason T. Smith. That's right, the announcer. That's right. The, the uh, announcer. Well, because Eddie, Eddie bailed. Eddie Eddie is refing tonight. We're trying yeah. to get his location. He, I think he is in um, – he's, he's refing South Webster – and New Boston. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I was told. Right. That's about where he's ranked in yes. the officiating union. Yes. Um, well, what's to come in the pregame show tonight? Let me tell you a little bit about this pregame show that we're in right now. We're going to do a little bit of the scouting report because we don't know anything about either team. Nope. Uh, we're going to tell you about the keys to the game. We will tell you that. And then we're going to go through the Bill May score predictions. Right. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about um, is, is entertainment. Yes. Football. Provides entertainment for local fans, and birdfan.com is here to enhance that. Yes, we're not here to entertain Ironton. Exactly. If you uh, want to listen to the show and not, uh, and you're not a bird fan, turn it off. Turn it off. Go. We don't want to hear else. it on Southeastern Ohio preps tomorrow. Right. There we don't want to hear calls to the school. There are other radio stations, and there are uh, other websites, TV stations. There are plenty of choices for you to listen to. Please turn us off. But we're not going to enjoy it. Right. We hope you do stay because you love it, and that's it. So talk about Ironton coming into the game. Ironton's coming off a 6-5 and five season, uh, and they did this thing called a champion's walk before the game, and normally you have to be a champion. Have they even won the that. OVC? They didn't win the OVC. They were 1-3 and three to finish the season last year. Really? So so they're not even a champion. They're not even the champion. They did the champion's walk. I guess did they even beat Rock Hill? Like, could they be the champion of Lawrence County? I think they might have tied. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> That's how it goes yep. on BergFan.com. That's right. Some of the players to watch for Ironton tonight. Uh, the quarterback, he's number seven. He's a senior dual threat quarterback. Yeah. Uh, pretty good talent out there. And then uh, the, the big name that's been bouncing around social media and whatnot in the offseason is Reed Calico. Yeah. He is a running back linebacker, and he is actually the number one ranked inside linebacker in the country of Uzbekistan. And uh, <laughs> he's got all kinds of offers out there. Uh, and then defensive end, who is a transfer, just came in uh, – off the boat from Ashland, Kentucky. Yes, yes. Junior Jones. Junior. So he's not a senior. He's a junior. He's a junior, but I believe he might be a senior. I don't know. Well, let's see here. Um, there uh, he is. He's a senior. He is a senior. Just sailed on a boat over yes. from Ashland earlier Just this got summer. eligible today. Yep. He's ready to go. Evidently, he's a pretty good player because someone wrote him down on our players to watch list. Uh, and now onto the team, the only team that matters here on birdfan.com. Bergfan.com. Bergfan.com. That's right. Berg is coming off a state semifinal run and a two-time uh, regional runner-up. So there was a lot of heartbreak in that last game last year, the way it went down. I think uh, Wheelersburg was expecting the, – the town of Wheelersburg was expecting, I think, to go in there and, and go back to Canton for sure. another uh, championship game. Absolutely. And they walked into a storm – um, it just and it just couldn't stop the storm in semifinal, and it just we put all our eggs in the Madison basket. We did, we did, and we won, we won. <laughs> but we had and we cheated left. all the way there. <laughs> that's right. That was that's what hurt us is we couldn't have the Where, camera is he guy back? out there. No. Let me ask you. Uh, here we go. He's going to ask us something. I don't know. You ready for football? Oh, I am jacked up. Yeah, yeah. Listen, 60 pages of talk and nonsense on stupid Southeast wow. Ohio prep. 60 pages. 
60. It probably started right after the it game did. last year. As soon as he lost to the Johnnies, it started. And it hasn't stopped. That is their name, the Johnnies. Johnstown Monroe Johnnies. Yeah. Hey, we got, listen, there are four teams this year ranked preseason top ten in the state of Ohio in D5, all from Region 19. Who we got? We got Wheelersburg, Johnstown, Ironton, Columbus Academy. Wow. So of the top ten, four are in our region. So it's not – listen, this is a big game. It always is a big game. Right. But, you know, not a be-all, end-all, right? Not the end of the world we end up losing tonight. Yeah. In the long run, it doesn't really account for nah. everything. But to start your season off, this is a huge game. Always is. Especially – the talk that's been going on from Ironton, they have to – this is do or die for them. To, for them. For them. For them. Yeah, absolutely. This is way bigger for them than it is for us. Yep. Here come the Ironton coaches. They'll be working on the visitor's side tonight on the top of the press box. I've not understood that. And the uh, Wheelersburg coaches will be working on the home side press box. We're talking about the upstairs coaches, not the sideline in, coaches. In the little cracker box. Yep. Who's going to come out first? It's always a gamesmanship. That's right. Pirate well, we fans are on their minutes. feet. The jugs are out. They're making noise. I just want to see Grub. Go Grub. I don't know if Grub will make an appearance tonight or not. You notice how Ironton was Xing out the uh, uh, the B in Berg? Yes. Yeah, that yeah. didn't even make sense. Didn't make sense Inter- at all. Interesting enough, this is the same crew we had last week against our in our scrimmage against Granville. Well, that guy's older than he, he is. Be. He will yeah. not make. He only goes between the forties. Okay. It's as far. Oh, Blizzard! Blizz has made it out of the locker room Uh-oh. with snack cakes. Be sure to share out our episode on your Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you do. Share it out. Birdfan.com, Spreaker.com, slash Birdfan. Let everybody know we're on the air and live from Tanks yeah. Memorial Stadium. Hey, Chad May is leading them out. He doesn't have his grass mowing shoes on. No. It's time to get wow. serious. I'm going to stand up for this. Yep. The general, number six, Horsley. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, boys, time to put the pads on and figure out what you got. Time to let the pads do the talking, baby. Yeah, I mean... You can talk all you want. Your Twitter account has been suspended for the night. <laughs> Time to right. play ball. Yeah. It's do or die. Let's see what you got. Tonight's score predictions. I got a score prediction from Bill May, and he says it is 28-14 Berg. Oh. All right. Chad May's got a new pair of shoes on. Brand new shoes. More Brand score predictions coming for you here in just a moment as soon as I look them up. Hey, uh, uh-oh. Eugene Willoughby says it'll be 21-14 Ironton. What? Whoa. Wow. Well, that's he, – he works for Ironton. He's suspended. Yeah, he, he works for Ironton, and he's just going to be pro-Ironton. He don't want to worry about his job. He's towing – what do they say, towing the corporate line yeah, or something to- like that? Yeah, he's towing the corporate line. Yep. We got Tennant out there with some new recruits. And I've got an amazing score prediction tonight from none other Buzz? than Buzz what? high in the Colorado Rockies. Yes. And What's he Buzz says say? it'll be Berg 35, Ironton 21. Ooh, Buzz. What's Is Buzz off work? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He might be listening from the office right okay, now. He all probably right. is. He'll well, text in in a minute. If yeah. you need a shout-out tonight, 740-357-8085, text me. I will shout you out. Yes. Don't share my number on Facebook or anything like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, because we haven't shared on a bird fan because right. nobody will know that number. Right, right. Three five seven eight zero eight five. Oh, here we go. Oh, this guy has been here forever. He's had. He still needs a few more uh, daddy pops. Yes. In his system before he can continue. He's not slurring nearly enough. No, yet. that'll be next week. When, right. Yes. He hadn't even cussed yet. No. Ethan. Oh, none your business is out of the game tonight. None your. Oh, no. None your is. business, yep. 27. Okay. Junior. Is out tonight. He's out. Sticks is out. Maxi hurt. And, of course, the big injury, Matthew Miller. Matthew Miller out. Out. And we're uh, expecting uh, 
to find out who the starting quarterback is tonight. There's been rumors of Micaiah Matthews. There is a uh, Masters. Masters. There's also a freshman. The freshman. Freshman number getting a seven. Bit of talk. Kenny Sanderlin. Kenny Sanderlin. So we've heard all those things. And don't rule out the uh, general Horsley. The question is, will we see one tonight, or will we see a mixture of I all think, those guys? I think we see all three of them at some point. Now, if you see the general come in, you're typically getting a wildcat look. Right. Where he's going to tuck it and run. And that's one of the keys to tonight's game for me is Horsley's got to break a few tackles tonight and yep. get those tough yards on second and long, third and short. Make sure we're moving the ball to get first downs. Big w- night for Horsley I w- tonight. I had a parent approach me today and was worried about Man Bear Pig, if they would still be Man Bear Pig. Yes. I said, yes. absolutely. They will still. We don't change the names. Right. Once a Man you Bear Pig, to, always a Man yeah, Bear Pig. You, once you earn a name, that's your yeah, name yeah, for it, four years. It's not given to you. No. You, you earned the name. And yep. it happens organically throughout the course of yeah. the broadcast, throughout the course of the season, maybe in the locker room. You can't ask or request a nickname. These things just happen. Yeah, and like we already got the Tonka truck coming. Right, the Tonka truck, and he's not even in high school. No, yet. he's eighth grade. Right, right. But the Tonka truck knows who he is. Stay tuned for the Tonka truck. Yeah, that'll be coming up in a couple years. Yep. Iron one, one nickname we have tonight yep. are the Little Stinks. Little the Stinks? Little Stinks. Yeah, yeah. That's Who's the it? offensive line for uh, Wheelersburg. They are coached by Big Stink. So that's how they get the name Little Stinks. Well, here comes one of their players away from everybody else. It's the Cleveland Browns. And, and it's already, their, their banner already went apart. They're dragging flags. This is sad. Uh, Let the American flag touch the ground. Yeah, not good. Listen, I if we go 1-9 and nine this year, I want this to be the one. Me too. Just because I don't want to hear Pendleton's mouth the rest of the year. I don't want to see his social media. I don't either. Not don't, not at all. I'm tired of it. We've all heard it for season. a year. Yeah. Return to dominance. Re- yeah, let's see. Prove it on the field That's right, right now. Tonight's it's, your night. That's right. We're going to find out. Here we go. Minute go. We got one minute left. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here on BirchFan.com. We're going to do our best to bring it to you live all night long. Hopefully stay out of the weather. There is some threatening storms in the area, but it looks all clear here in West East Russell, Kentucky. West Furnace. Yes. East Furnace. South Furnace. North something Furnace. Wheelersburg is going to receive. Arton is going to kick off. Yep. Arton deferred. They did win the toss and deferred. It starts right here. 24 seconds. seconds. Yep. A little bit of clouds lingering to the north, but yep. everything looks well. Here come the Pirate kick return team. So we got who? Hunter Ruby. And Hunter the Ruby and the Hedgehog. <laughs> hedgehog. Let me clear my throat. Pardon me. I've been That's here right. since. Four o'clock, saving a seat for BirdFan.com because they didn't want us in the press box, and I don't blame them. No, I don't either. That might have got ugly. Any idea whose water that is? Um, one of them, maybe Brent. <laughs> Man down. I, I just found a water here. I don't know whose it is, but I'm drinking it. It's pretty warm pretty warm we're out of our element a little bit yeah. here in the fan usually the fan we section. have usually we get you know some nicer accommodations right. unless we're at Oak Hill exactly yeah. we get no hey, accommodations at that's Oak Hill. how dedicated bergfan.com right. is we went out in special ordered equipment just for this week so we could bring you this game we hope it's coming through loud and clear for you if not please text us and please let us know let us know let somebody know let me Gene know he'll come tell us yeah Gene's hiding on the iron side. Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. Teed up. And the kick is high and deep, and that'll be Ruby to field it at the three-yard line. Plants his foot. Cuts back to the middle, across the middle of the field. He is going to be eight up at the 12-yard line. Nice pursuit by the Ironton Tiger. 
kickoff team. And let me tell you, watching this punter and kicker warm up before the game, the punter and kicker is legit. Really? Totally legit. All right, better than Braxton? Popping 55-yard field goals. Oh, come on, Rob. 60-yard punts in oh, the air. Oh, my promise gosh. You. Left footed, too. Oh, my gosh. With both feet, probably. They definitely recruited him from Ironton St. Joe because they didn't <laughs> teach that here. Does Ironton even have soccer? Uh, no, they don't. No. No, no soccer All lines right. on the field. Well, Hedgehog. Starts in the starts in the gun. There he is, and he will keep it on the first play. And but we have flags. a whistle and a flag. Motion on uh, the Pirates, it looks like. Here we go. They're going to talk about it, and we've got offsides against the Fort Tiggers. There we go. First, first down. Five. five. We, so, we Calico's in there at the right side linebacker, number 28. And two, junior, senior. Yes. He's at the right DN. That's the kid we're worried about. Those are the two playmakers on defense, yeah. 28 and two, Calico so and junior. So they're running a four, what, four, two? Here is the give. That's going to be Horsley, and he's got a nice little pickup. Out First to down. the 24-yard line. First down, Pirates. That's right. No storms go that way. They're staying to the north of us, it looks like. The weather is, and it'll be first and ten for the Pirates ball spot at the 24-yard line as they break huddle. So you got Bastine top and flanked by Hunter Ruby, and the bomb is uh, that would be LJ. Here's the hedgehog cutting it up the middle on a nice little quarterback trap and picks up about four, and we've got confirmation that we sound loud and clear. Thank you guys for tuning in. Great. Jordan Clark, we appreciate it. Uh, who else we got out there? Shout out to the Boomstick, number 80. Bada boom. Stick, number 80. Braxton Sammons. He is the so Boomstick. We got Flo Ryder, LJ Payton, number two. That's Flo Ryder? Flo Ryder. All right. Carson Will I Am is in the backfield, and it's a straight give That's to the hedgehog. Keep hedgehog. Doesn't get anywhere on that one. Maybe gained a yard. Yep. We're looking at third and third and about six, yep. we'll call it. 11 minutes to go in the first quarter. No score on the board. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the one and only place to listen to. So you're going to have Vastine at the football. top left. Bomb of your screen will be the Flo Rider and Hunter Ruby. Single back, which is Carson Will I Am. Hedgehog, oh, that's a false start if they don't. Yep. Yeah, they yeah. called it. So that's going to make it third now and 11 for the yep. Pirates. They were rolling, uh, looked like they were rolling Micaiah Matthews, uh, the hedgehog, out there to the right. Hedgehog was going to, uh, to the right. And Hunter Ruby green. may have been the target there. Let's see if they try that again. And, uh, again, L.J. Payton, number two tonight. He is operating wide receiver, number 25, Ruby, out there operating wide receiver. Gay Jackins coming in for Will I Am. He'll be operating at a tight end spot, I believe. So Okay. Let's see what we've got here for the offense. They do huddle up. And we're going to have to throw the ball. I mean, we got we can't just run the ball down there. They're not going to let us. That's Peyton wide right and Bastine wide left. Yep. Here Tight end shifts across. And here is the give to Horsley. It's a reverse and goes nowhere. Oh. The defensive end there chased the guy that was in the reverse and caught up to him. It was a nice defensive play. Yep. Double reverse doesn't pan out for the Pirates. Looks like if they would have got that around the edge, they did have room, but it, it got balled up before uh, it made any progress. So it'll so be fourth for the Pirates. Fourth and, and 15, ball in the Wheelersburg 20-yard line. The Horsley, the general, back to punt. Snap is back, kick is up. Nice spiral, nice spiral punt. punt. It's going to be have. It's going to be a returnable kick at the 40, out across the 50, cuts it back, and gets hit hard and rode out of bounds. But the Tigers start out in excellent field position at their own, at the Pirates' 44-yard line. That's where they'll have it first and 10. The returner there was Kyle Howe. He's a junior, 5'10", 170, out of uh, Rock Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Hill, Ashland, right. Russell. They've got a few from everywhere. Yep. Here we go. First the only one 10. we know that is from Ironton is the kicker, uh, but... He's from St. Joe's. Right, so. right. They've got him from St. Joe's. Oh, that wind is picking up. Feels like Here a we go. Uh, hurricane coming in behind us. Hope the equipment survives well, the night. Shocker, the Calico Cat is in the backfield, and it's a give to the Calico Cat. Running hard off tackle. 
stays on his feet. He refuses to go down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. First and 10 for the Tigers. I got a chance to watch Calico run last year against Portsmouth where they lost the game. Yeah. Calico had an incredible game, over 300 yards, and the kid is tough to bring down, almost impossible to bring down one man at a time. So you've got to wrap up. Pirates are going to have to swarm to the running back tonight oh, or it will oh, be a long win. night. Woo, you hear that? The storm isn't coming. If we go offline, you'll know where we are. Yeah. Offline. <laughs> yeah, it's straight give. Keep by the quarterback, cuts it up on the trap, and he's hit hard from the side, holds on to the ball, and he'll be close to a first down. He does have a first down. Yep. Two plays, 20 yards. First down, 10, ball at the 17 of Wheelersburg. Quarterback kept that one, just cut it back inside on the trap. Listen, they got two kids, the quarterback and Calico. Yep. It's going to one or the other. He's a big boy, my friend. Both of them are good-sized kids. <laughs> Calico is bigger than anybody on the field. He is. He's a, he's a horse. There's, There's a, reason. a reason he's got a D1 scholarship to Anywhere Ohio State. Anywhere he wants to go. Yes. And Two there's yard a quarterback keep again, and there's a late flag coming in. Oh, Pendleton. Pendleton. I hope he gets a sideline warning for putting RTD yes, they on did. the Internet. He got a sideline penalty. Uh-huh, sideline worried. So and that's against it, Coach Pendleton. Yeah. Mr. Internet. Spends a lot of time on the field, evidently. He's madder than he's ever been uh, right now. So it's second down seven. Ball at the Wheelersburg 14. Number 44, the fullback, Seth Fawson, checks in for the Tigers. Eye formation. Calico dots the eye. Calico's going to get the ball. Oh, timeout. Timeout by the offense. Yep. Yeah. Well, With 8.18 to go in the first quarter, the score is 0-0. Zero to zero. Listen, we're not going to get out coached. No. I can promise you. There is no way Wheelersburg will get out coached. No. Um, will they be outmatched? I guess Maybe. that's the question. We're they won't be fight. outplayed. No. They won't be out hustled, I should say. Nope, nope. There will be no music tonight on BergFan.com. We apologize for that. Our music guy actually had to sit with his wife tonight and wasn't allowed to sit here. So well, shocker. I don't blame her. I mean, I wouldn't Why? let him sit with us either. No. <laughs> we get people in trouble. I already stole somebody's water. It's probably Brent's. No, I think it's hers, but oh, she's well, a kid. What she, she don't know. She just, she just asked ask mom for another water. Yeah. I need another dollar. Now, here we go. It is. The storms to the east are, or the west are not pretty. Nope. I hope they stay away, but it doesn't look good. I hope they stay in the West Franklin furnace. All right. We're going to uh -oh. dot the eye again. Calico in the eye. Quick snap. Hands it off to Calico. Cuts it up. Hit hard. Brought down inside the 10-yard line. Down to the 9. Man Bear Pig's got to stay in there. He got yep. pushed way over. Man Bear Pig got a little too up there out yep. of his stance. Needs to stay a little lower. So it's third down, two, eight minutes to go. First quarter. Ball in the 9-yard line. It is third and two. Guess who's going to get the ball? Calico. The Calico Cat is going to get the ball. Number 28 dots the eye. Got three carries tonight already. Here's number oh. four. No, it's the keep by the quarterback. And oh! Ram hard. He goes in. Nowhere. Nowhere, baby. Back him up. Down. Are they going to kick? Why would you not give the ball to a 215-pound running back? It looked like it may have been a broken play. Maybe nah. the quarterback opened the wrong way. Uh, Cal the Calco Cat went that way. All right, all right. Here we go. Fourth down, two. Ball to nine-yard oh, line. Well, they got an all-star kicker, but he ain't kicking. No, because there's 70-mile-an-hour wind. Let's go. Here we go. I bet the Calco Cat gets it. Man in motion. The quarterback's in. And it looks like he made enough movement uh, there to get it. I don't know. Fans are cheering. No, first down, first Ironton. Down. Looked good from here, I guess. We look good from the other 30-yard line. Yes. So it'll be first and goal for the Tigers, and the Pirates are backed up in the red zone early. Yep. Ball at the six-yard line. They got three. They needed two. Thank you to all of our fans tuning in tonight. We're doing our best to bring it to you live from the bleachers. We're still yep. at 87% battery, so... Uh, we're going to be good for the night. Thanks a lot, Gene, for the use of your yep, uh, pre-charged iPad. Oh, look, they got junior, senior. In the f oh, Cal yeah. Cal met hard in the Oh, who was that? Who is that 22. man? 22. That's Luke Miller. Oh, my. 
my, Luke Miller just stood up yes. the D1 prospect. That's right. Ooh, lost we yard. Put my name on the map, he said. That's right. Rank me. You watching him? All right. You watch me. <laughs> Second so down. Second and goal. That backs him up a yard, though. Nice play by Luke Miller. Luke the man Miller. Wow. Yeah. Man. Stud. Wouldn't wait for him for three years. Right. Yeah. Here we go. It's time to shine. You're a senior. Calico dots the eye, and they're going to fake it. It's a boot. Oh! He's has got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Jackins chases him down. Number 20. Woo! 12 gauge. He ran down the quarterback from behind. Yeah, we're not going to mention that kid's name. Gets the sack. Number 20, Gage Atkins. Wow. 20, Gage Atkins. Unbelievable. From play. Ironton. From Ironton. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, now it's his name. <laughs> so we got third and goal. Ball at the 12. Yes. Five-yard loss. Sack on the play by Gage. 12, Gage Atkins. Oh, the cheer box getting nasty. Yeah. I like here it. Here we go. Shotgun. We're going to have a uh, little EIEIO here. In a here minute. we go. Oh, an actual. Oh, over there. Time to throw. Ah! And he runs out of time. It's complete, though. Oh, who is that? The general. The general. The general. The general. pass at the nine yard line, but the general lights up the receiver. Here comes a kicking squad. That's right. Wheelersburg with a great defensive stand in the red zone. And here comes the kicker. This is going to be a 27 yard field goal. 27-yard field goal, yep. high winds. Lefty. The winds are at his back. He yeah, is a left-footed yeah. kicker. The wind is at his back. He's got all the wind. Pirates playing safe here. Kick and is up. Nice kick. Perfect. It's good. It'll yep. be 3-0, Ironton. But uh, you got to kind of call that a win for the Pirates yep. there on the defensive side, making that stop after having being backed up to first, first time, goal from first the five. Time the, first time the Fort Tiggers have been ahead of us in six years. Really? Six years they haven't had a lead? Oh, no. wow. They haven't been ahead of us in six. Well, they've been running clock how many years in a row? Right, right. So, I mean, this is a huge win. Yep. That was a nice kick, though. That kicker's got a good leg. Yes, he does. And he'll kick it high and deep here on the kickoff unless they try something a little fancy like an onside kick. But and it'll be teed up on the 40-yard line on the right hash. 5.15 to go in the first quarter. Irons leading 3-0. to zero. It'll be Hedgehog and Ruby that will go back deep to yep. receive the kick. And Pirates are huddled up on the sideline right now. They're looking to regroup. Not a very good first drive no. for their offense. You know, interestingly, um, as nice of a place as this is and all the money that they have put into here, and it is a beautiful facility, there's no play clock here. No. And even with the new rules and the play clock change, you would think that would be a requirement. It's not. It's not. They don't have a play clock here. This could go out of the back of the end zone. Wind, wind, are high. Hit back. wind is very high. High and deep, the kick goes, and it will be yeah. into the end zone. Yeah. That, it knocks the trip. pylons over. The wind can't. The pylons can't stay up right yeah. because of the wind. So be. Oh my God! It's like kindergarten's Charlie Brown's kindergarten teacher. That yes. guy over there. Yep. That's if I sound like that next week, we're in big trouble. <laughs> really? Please. You don't tell have me. to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. We have better equipment. I hope. So, Wheelersburg ball, first and 10 at their own 20. They're running. We, they're in a what, a 3-4? Yeah, that's a 3-4 look right there. And here's the handoff. And that's the general. The general with a great cutback. Six yards on the first down carry by the general. Out to the 25-yard line. Bring up second down and four for your Pirates. We have yet to throw the ball. Yeah, no passes yet, and you don't want to throw it in this well, wind right true. now. The wind is not pleasant. you got to keep making five, six-yard gains like that on first down, man. That'll get I, you I ahead know, of the we game. Got, we got to stretch them. we got to make them think. Matthews know. calls for the snap, gets it, keeps it, runs, cuts back, has a Head first down. Oh, he was one guy away. There's he, no safety in the no middle. No safety back there. If no. he breaks that last tackle, he's gone. First down, 10 Pirates. There is 442 to go first quarter. Ironton playing a pretty aggressive approach here on defense. Yep. Looking to stack it up against the run. Now they're in a 5-4-3 a look here. And here is a lot of motion. Horsley on the keep. Nice run. Gets he it gets out the to hand 37. Off. Another six-yard gain on first down. It'll be second and four for the Pirates, and they are right back to the line. This game ain't going to last long, folks. Peyton out wide to the right. That'll be Vastine out wide left. 
and uh, Ruby. Ruby in the I, slot. I, I just want to see him take a shot just to make him think. Horsley in the backfield alongside Matthews. Matthews calls for the snap. It's low. Gets it. Keeps it. Breaks it off tackle. Spins out of one tackle and is up near the first down. It's going to be close. It's going to be third and short. Ball to uh, Wheelersburg 41. It looks like we got third and one. Third down and one. Nope. They're going to call timeout and bring the chains. Got timeout. 3.48 to go. Fart and Tigers three and Wheelersburg nothing. It is pretty close. Close enough to measure, I guess. Oh, nope. nope. They're going to say it's short. Third it's short. down. Well, Ironton moved the sticks. Yes. So they, they made sure that it wasn't going to be. Needed time to call that yeah. order down. They got so that. We got 40. New play clock this year, 40 seconds. From the end of the play, not from when the play is set ready by the official. It's from the end of the previous play, 40 seconds. It's gonna be in, we're going to have to call a timeout because they don't know if it's 40. They don't know if it's 25. Here we go. Third we're one. Ready. Horsley. First down. Well. He's got it. You think? Yep. Gained a full yard. First down, Pirates. That's right. Move them chains. 3.14 to go in the first. It's 3 to nothing, Ironton right now. Pirates on the move on their own 42-yard line. Shout out to right. everybody out there listening tonight. Thank you again for tuning in. Interesting. Ironton's like, we're not. We're going to play the pass. We've been beat six years in a row by you throwing the ball, and there ain't no butter out there this year. Hedgehog on the keep. Tries to cut it upfield. Does pick and up about two. two. Go Berg from Brian Payton and Crew Plummer. Thank you yes. for tuning in. Uh, shout out to Rex. Broke down on the new bypass. Why did he take Whoa, the bypass? Why is he going to the bypass? Where's Turnbuckle Terry at? He says Go Berg and uh, the boomstick. We already got the boomstick. Yep. So we'll move on to the next play. Hedgehog calls for the snap. Gets it. Rolls to his right. Looking to throw now. And nobody uh -oh. else. He will tuck uh -oh. it uh -oh. the other way. Hedgehog. Hedgehog is loose. Hedgehog. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he says, you number seven, Woo! you are not tackling me. He just took Ironton's quarterback and stiff-armed him to the ground. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, first down, Wheelersburg. Oh, they marked him out of bounds. Ah. Oh. All right, we'll take it anyway. The, the old guy claims he saw him step out of bounds. Wow. He couldn't tell you what he ate for dinner last night. Well, we are in Larry County. So the Pirates uh. have it first and ten at the 42-yard line. We'll take it. And here we go. Hedgehog is on fire already. He's in the backfield by himself. He's going to be jet sweep to Hunter Ruby. Ruby cuts back. No oh. room to go anywhere. 36. Is that a linebacker coming? Gunner Crawford, Jr., 5'10", 225, Jr. He is a – how did he get over there? He got him in the backfield quick. Uh, and he's a linebacker. He, yes. He's the other linebacker with the – the Calico Cat. He may be reading that motion coming to him on the jet yeah, sweep see, and look, just taking got off. Here he comes again. Same yeah, thing. He's reading that motion. And now Hedgehog keeps it, but he's got nowhere to go. He'll pick yeah. up and one and get back to the original line of scrimmage where it'll be third and ten for the Pirates. Oh, no. So we're in. Pirates are behind the sticks just a little bit here on this. Uh, yep, third and ten. Third and ten, and we've zero passes, but the pylons have all been blown down. Clock Here is we go. Ticking. Ruby in motion. Hedgehog looking to throw. Pump throw. Throws it to Ruby. Ruby catches it. Makes a man. Oh! Makes another man miss. Picks up five. It'll be fourth down, and we'll call it about six for the Pirate offense at the 38-yard line. Are we going to punt? They're going to send in some substitutes here. Looks like punt team is going nope, out there. Nope, nope. Oh, they're going to bring in Masters, the Quarter backup quarterback. Number 14, Masters. I don't know if he in. is or Sanderlin is. This here is we not, go. This, this is, is interesting. Not a punt team. This is not a punt team. Ironton will not know what to do with this look. They're going to call timeout. They're calling the flag. Look. Yep. Some timeout by the bird. Interesting. Birds. You got to wonder if maybe the Pirates weren't thinking go out there, run Masters out kind of as a uh, somebody to look at and then try to draw the Tigers off sides. Yeah. You never yeah. know. If 40 seconds to go, quarter number one, three to nothing. Great ball control. It's going to be a close game. Yes. It's going to be a tight game. 
Matthews right now only attempted hasn't attempted any passes other nope. than the one that was well, caught. Well, you just did. Yes, correct. Correct one, me. One pass. <laughs> one pass. And it was a swing pass. That not, he didn't have a clean pocket to work with, though. Um, so, so you got Sanderlin, who's a freshman, and you got Masters, who is a sophomore, both courtesy of the uh, the other part of the county. Right, right. Thank so, you. Thank you for that. Thank you, yes. So it's going to be interesting to see Rax or uh, – What is it? You raise them, we recruit them. Yeah, that's right. That's okay. You raise them, we recruit them. <laughs> and Ironton has the same philosophy. Right, right. Ironton is expecting complete pass. They got it. They they're putting everybody at the line of scrimmage. Yep. And we've got the Horsley. The general is going to be quarterback. Full no. backfield. Masters. For the Pirates. Masters under center. Try to draw them off sides here. That's what they're doing. Not yep. going to work. No. Not going to work. No. They're not going to. Waiting for the Pirates. They're going to take the penalty here. Yep. There's the delay of game. They'll back nope. it up. That gives more room for the punt. Interesting. They had full house. Masters is the backup quarterback in. I wasn't sure that was the, uh, a, a really grand idea after the timeout occurred there. Maybe before that it would have been. After the timeout didn't seem to work so well. As and I even if they jump off down, sides, you don't it's get still fourth and one. Yep. Now we got the general, so, you know, it's Horsley. Not an unworthy cause there. You do back it up five. That gives your punter, Horsley, more room to work with here. They're so, going to finally send somebody back. Horsley fields it, and he's taking his time. Kicks it a nice little floater. Fair caught at the 14-yard line. Yep. They'll call it to 15. First and, and 10, pi or Ironton. That's where they'll take over first and 10. Pirate defense. This time uh, doesn't have the short field to fight. Nope. They got got the Tigers backed up. So with 33 seconds to go in the first quarter, Tigers leading three to zero, and they got the ball back. Seth with an H is going in for Man Bear Pig. 63. So different defensive line. So you got package. 68. Drew Blair. You got Seth with an H. 53. Uh, I think we're going to have Brady a delay. Warner. I just heard thunder. We're going to have a delay here. Come on! There's no no lightning. Tony Cavaliers here, I believe. If the lightning doesn't touch down, they do not have to have a delay. I saw thunder. You saw <laughs> thunder? Yeah, I saw it. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Ironton. One back set. It's going to be the Calico Cat. The whole stadium is on their feet right now. It's a packed house. Screen pass. Oh, oh thank God. Thank God. Calico. Oh. You're lucky you dropped that one. Oh. Smart decision to drop that pass. I don't know, but number 79, the offensive lineman, six foot, 330, freshman. Yeah. That boy is going to be something to deal He's with. He's also 19 years old. Well, I know. He'll be ineligible in a year and a half. Right. Well, that was the play right there. You had him. Shotgun. Now it's going to be the Calico Cat. Yep. Calico on the carry off tackle. Man, he's fast. But he gets wrapped up and brought down in a late hit there. Ooh, third and one. Ruby, but not called. He is tackled short of the first down. It'll be third and one. Yep. Calico looks good, man. Looks good when he gets the ball in his hand. Calico Cat, is, cat, he's good. There's a reason that he ain't getting recruited as a running back. No. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Thank God we get the win. Yes, we do. The, wind, right. the winds of change are coming, and we've got the stats from Boston go. Brent, none other than Boston Brent. The first quarter, Ironton, nine rushes for 41 yards. Wheelersburg, 13 rushes, 45 yards. Passing, Ironton has two yards. Wheelersburg has three yards. It's a dead even heat, minus yep. the three points on the board for the Tigers. Yeah, and that comes down to we had the bad field position. Yep. Or, I mean, they had the good field position, and uh, we they ended up uh, taking advantage of it. So the first quarter of football Hello. in 2019 is behind us. Yep. Everybody is taking a little breather now yep. after the – introductory excitement and they're going to get uh, some popcorn Look. at the concession stand. Oh, it's going to blow right by us. 
That's going to go north. North. We're getting a little radar. Where are we at? Oh, okay. Oh, north. Oh, yeah. It's going to blow north. Yeah, we, just keep fanning it. Yeah. Looks like uh, the radar is tracking right for uh, Rock Hill. Luckily, we're not there. Yes. We're in Rock Valley. Yes. Oh, I just felt rain. Yeah, I did too. I felt <laughs> a, little, a little bit of a rain drop. Drop top. Rain drops. Drop tops. I did well, see. Maybe it'll clear out this crowd that we have. True. I did see thunder earlier, and it was amazing. Yes. Here we go. First, no, oh, third and one. Ball in the Wheelersburg, no, Ironton, 24-yard line. Under center, eye formation. Here is the snap. Give to the fullback. First man through. Breaks one tackle, but then loses a yard after breaking that tackle. It will be enough for a first down. And the ball will be out to the 25-yard line. He just barely got enough there after breaking that yep. tackle. Yeah, it was just a straight dive. Call it the 26-yard line. First and 10 for the Look, Tigers. Look, I see one kid in a, in a rain suit over there. See him? Yep. The white. He's the only one. The rest of us are going to get drenched. Nobody prepared for rain. No. Today at all. It wasn't supposed to. Yeah, and nobody cares really either. No. I do, but I'm not going to admit it. No. Not on Here the we go. Anyway. Pump fake. Uh oh, they have him. Rolling out of the pocket, and he's escaped the pocket. Finally brought down by number five there for the No, nope, no, nope. number six. That's the general. The general, the general. Excuse me, Horsley. Horsley. I gotta remember to wear my glasses next week. So we got it was a double fake looking for the deep post route backside. Yep. And we covered it perfectly. We were Wheelersburg was not fooled. Was we're gonna old. have second and nine from the twenty eight. That's a good play on Madden. Fake the double reverse and then throw deep. But you gotta have like I don't know, Terrell Owens and, and, and a better quarterback in okay. there to make it work. Make it work. They don't have Terrell Owens. No. They only have Bubby Brister. No, no. Here They're we go. again. Shovel pass to Calico. Breaks the, the tackle. Oh, he's hit hard in the hole. Gain of one. Wow, he got lit up, and I couldn't see who that was. That was Man Bear Pig. Man Bear Pig. Yep. And Drew Blair. He will light you up by smiling at you. Yes. Felt another raindrop. No, no. Up top. So we got third and seven. Ball in the Wheelersburg 31. 10.50 to go. Quarter number two, we, Ironton three, Wheelersburg nothing. It's been the Calico Cat left, the Calico Cat right. It's third and five. Now they're shifting everybody over. Going to bring it back this way. Nope. Rolls to his left. Throws it up, and it incomplete. is incomplete. Off target with the throw. Fourth and five. The Tigers will put it away. We think. Let's see. Let's see. Look for the Calico Cat. Here comes the punt team. Yep, yep. punt team coming out. Number 12. That means the Hedgehog will go back uh, deep to receive with 10.30 to go. Don't kick it to the Hedgehog. They better not. There's a lot of room. <laughs> Listen, I, if I'm if I'm Ironton, you're not kicking to him. No, you shouldn't. You put it out of bounds. Yep, on that side. On that over side. There. Don't even take a chance no. of letting him touch it. No, Look don't at all even this green no. Bad decision. Oh. He will roll to his left and yeah. kick it out of bounds. No, yeah. it stays in play, but a great kick. Yeah, he just like, no. It was a rugby-style kick. He yep. is from Australia yeah, he by is. way of St. Joe. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Here we go. So, we got the hedgehog and the general. Ball's at the 33-yard line, first and 10 for the Pirates. Good starting field position here. 22. Who's 20? Oh, that's Luke. Luke Miller, Luke number 22. Luke Miller. So Gage Atkins will stay in there as your tight end. So who we got a quarterback here? We're going to go with the Hedgehog. Hedgehog is back at QB. Alongside him will be Evan E. Lee Horsley. Yes. And so Bastine wide left, and that will be Peyton wide right. Well, it's time to throw the ball, boys. Hunter Ruby in the slot. Hedgehog keeps it right up the middle, goes nowhere. No, nothing there. Kind of keep going back to that same play there, and it's really not been uh, too effective. Well, the problem is you got to loosen them up somehow. Be able yeah. to throw them. I don't care if you throw it to the out quick. 
You Make them think there's going to be a pass. All right, they're just clogging the middle right now because there's no threat of a pass no. at the moment. The Carrico's playing five yards off the ball. There we go. There's a swing pass, and it's incomplete. The wind caught that. Did you see that? Yes. Man. A little swing pass to Ruby. Did, I don't think he had much room to run, even if he caught it, but the ball was out in front of him. Incomplete. Nine, yeah, 39, ball to Wheelersburg, 34. You got Bastine and Ruby, bottom of your screen, top of your screen is Flo Rider, the general. Here's the snap, rolls to his left. Hedgehog's got a man, it is Ruby. Yeah. With the catch, first down inside Ironton territory. Goes up tall and high to make the catch. Nice, nice job. That's Ruby. a great catch by Hunter Ruby. Yes. And a great touch pass yep. over the defender right in the basket, baby. Yeah, it's a great play all around. Just made a 30-yard pass look like a layup. 9.38 yeah. to go in the second quarter. Yep. Hedgehog gets him huddled up and brings in the play. Looking Here like a quarterback out there. Horsley alongside him in the backfield. Two receivers left, one right. Horsley, no, it's the Hedgehog. Might have been a busted play there. Something didn't add up because uh, the Hedgehog faked it to the air. I believe the Calico Cat is a spy of the Hedgehog. I've been watching a little bit, and Calico stays about seven yards, five to seven yards off the ball, and he rolls wherever the Hedgehog rolls. There you go. I mean, not rocket science, yep. right? That's how you're going to get the most tackles tonight. Yep. Stay on the hedgehog. Look, he's strong side. Shotgun. Hedgehog looking to throw the screen, and it is picked off by Junior. Look and he's up. still on his feet. He is finally dragged down by number 75 of the Pirates. That is Ethan Good E. Wow. That boy is a big dude. Yeah. That was not a good pass by Matthews there. Uh, just under pressure on the screen pass and lobbed it up there into the middle of the defense. So not a good play for the Pirates. Defense will go out there. Let's see if we can uh, get it back. Pirates down 3-0 to zero here in the middle of the second quarter, 8.43 to go. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in on birdfan.com. We're trying to stay out of the rain. Uh-oh, there's people already bolting. Scared to Good. death of the rain. Good. More room for me. Here it comes. Timeout Ironton. They've already called their second timeout. Here comes the rain. And we're gonna we're gonna get the equipment blasted. real quick. Get get the equipment safe. Gene would kill me if we ruined his iPad. Yeah, we don't want to do that. There are people bolting out of here yeah, quickly. It, it here might comes be coming the rain. Bad. It bad. might be coming bad, bad. We're ready for it, though. Not really at all. No. We'll ruin my new hat. First game. If uh, if we go off the air, you'll know why, and uh, we'll be back as soon as we can. Storm is upon us. Yep. 58. Jackson Coons. It is raining. Oh, it's pouring. It now. is now pouring. I did not prepare for this. No, nope. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Burke fan t-shirt, of course. Save the equipment. If we go off, we go off. If we go off, we go off. Thanks, Don't. everybody, for tuning in. Here we go. Tonight, we're going to do our best to stay on in the elements. 8.43 to go, second quarter. Ironton with the ball in the Burke 42-yard line. Calico Cat. Nope. It's going to be that quarterback, number seven. Nothing. It's getting a little chippy out there after the play. Yep. It's all part of the game, though. It's going to be uh, second down, eight yards to go, ball to Wheelersburg, 40-yard line. Yep. Um, Boston Brent's got an umbrella. For 10 for Ironton. He's a tall dude. 6'2", 175. All right, here we go. Wheelersburg in a 4-2. Well, 4-3 look. Ireton strong right. Double Both. twins right. Man in motion on the jet sweep. Gets nothing. Him. No oh. there. Who is that? He was there. I believe that's a Luke Miller again. Luke Miller Wow, again. he's having a big game from the linebackers. Yes, spot. he is. I think he's at DN. 
Because the linebackers, you got Will I Am, Carson Williams. Yep. And uh, who else is back there? Horsley, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. The general. The How general. Can I forget? All right. Starting to settle down a little bit here. The crowd's pretty calm right now, but it's third and nine for the Tiger offense. And we need some noise in here, fans. Calico Cat hasn't even touched the ball this series. It's a funnel screen to the right side, and it's yeah. down for a loss on the play. Seth. Booyah. Seth with an H. Seth with an H. Seth Denny with a big tackle. Fourth down. Fourth down eight. Fourth down eight. 6.50 to go. Ironton bringing in the kicking unit. This is going to play field position. Yep. It's pouring. Again, bear with us. We're uh, under severe conditions here. Yes. It is. They're going to play field position here. Wheelersburg's got nobody deep. We're like, yeah, we're just let you punt it. I ain't, oh, my gosh. We're going to be is. losing the feed here shortly, yeah. folks. So sorry about that. Here's the punt, and it will roll inside the. Oh, my. It is raining sideways now. Ten-yard line. It is at the 11. <laughs> Maybe. All right, we're going to get back to you as soon as we can, but for now we have to protect our equipment. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 